Number 59. What are the directions of the fields in the center of the loop and the coils shown in figure 22.60? All right, so let's take a look at letter A. So we're basically going to use right hand rule number two. All right. Now your fingers are curling here in a counterclockwise direction. And the only way for your fingers to be curling in that counterclockwise direction and using right hand rule number two, where your thumb has to be perpendicular to your fingers there. The only way for your thumb to be pointing and for your fingers to be curling in a counterclockwise direction is if your thumb is pointing out or towards you or basically right point your thumb into basically your face. Okay, don't actually hit your face, but that's the idea. All right. So um, your thumb then should be pointing towards you or out of the computer screen. And we denote that with a little dot. So that would just be out. Okay. Now with the coils, it's a little harder to kind of understand, but I think it's going to be relatively straightforward. All I would suggest is that, uh, you know, first of all, this is a two dimensional paper trying to represent a three dimensional, uh, you know, coil. So this part that I'm highlighting is the part closest towards you. Right, and the part behind is the part that's further away. Okay, why is that the case? I don't know, it just looks that way, right? So um, what we realize now is just pretend, you know, you gotta pretend that this is like a circle, right? That it's a circle. Um, so if you were to take your finger, okay, this is the direction of the current. If you were to take your finger and point it downward, your thumb that is, not your finger, but your thumb. I mean, your th well, your thumb is a finger, right? It's one of the five fingers, but your thumb specifically now out of those five fingers, okay? If you were to take that thumb and you point it downward, okay? And if you're pointing your thumb down, you know, keeping in mind right hand rule number two, your fingers are then curling to the right, okay? Right to the right, okay, around that particular part. It would be the same here, same here, same here, and same here. They're all going to be coiling, you know, in or around into the center of the loop. Now, if you were to look at it from the back, the coil on the back is pointing up, right? The current in the coil on the back, I should say, is pointing up. Now, point your thumb up, and then you realize you're wrapping now around that coil, Right in a in a uh, you know you can consider it a counterclockwise fashion, but that'll be coming into the loop as well. So no matter how you view this, the field here is going to be through the loop and to the right. Okay, that's the magnetic field. So uh, when you're dealing with a coil, the field is now going to be directly through the coil. Okay, now you know this case is just the opposite of B, so it's going to be the exact opposite reasoning, so it's just going to point to the left, all right? And um, for the same exact reasons we discussed. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.